Is that cat and stuff too? You bet. He stirs the beer with his tail. What can I get you? Hmm. What's his name? Pan Kratze. I found him on the trash heap and he sort of made himself at home here. Well fed, well groomed. The happiest cat in the neighborhood. You think? Thanks. I feed him liver. I think he likes it. He always wants more. Yes, one donut, please. Even if I had any, I wouldn't recommend them. But I heard <laughs> I was supposed to order a donut. Here. It's all right, Yannick. I know him. I was hoping we'd run into each other again, and here you are. Can we speak in private? Come on. Don't move a muscle. I've got deja vu. Silence. <laughs> That's not what he said. Yeah? This is Victor. It looks like I owe you a debt of gratitude. Lower the gun, and we can call it quits. You can leave us. Come, Victor. Tell me what brings you here. You literally told me to come meet you here. So these are the famous suites. Underground combat. Are you from the PPS? The friendly neighborhood girl threw you off? I didn't fall for it for one second. You're a terrible liar. What brings you to this sweet place? You stole the Dutch pomade shipment. I read about it on the train from Vienna. We're famous, yes, that's true. But I won't tell you where it is, nor what it will be used for. Hmm. How exactly are you going to serve the cause? The PPS has extensive structures. Most members engage in demonstrations or meetings, underground lectures. We're part of the PPS combat organization. We use more radical methods. Do you shoot as well, or just carry ammo? Want to find out? Is Bergrodbis' cafe frequented only by your sympathizers? No, but the name is known only by a select few. Why did the PPS choose this particular place? It's just one of many where we get together. The beer is drinkable here, and the boys are nice. Actually, something else brings me here. What are you up to this evening? <laughs> is that an offer, or are you just nosy? I'm curious, that's all. Tonight, I am overthrowing the patriarchy. Uh Will you join me? I think I'll pass. Patriarchy agrees with me. And that's exactly the problem. <laughs> Is there anything else you wanted to ask? <laughs> Let's see what his other responses are. That's it. Don't be mel. Is there any? Oh damn! That skipped something. Oops. I thought it was just repeating the same thing. Oh well. I'm looking for a particular man. He's a doctor and a thaumaturge. He treats people with rather radical views. Who do you mean? Us? Ammunition in your tights, lying low in cellars, the smell of Dutch pomade in your hair. I can sense letters, like P, P, and S here. I'm sorry. We don't betray our comrades to anyone who asks. So you do know one another after all. Who Daughter. knows? How about this? I won't ask for anything else, but please, pass something on to him from me. Is that an onion? Take a bite. Are you praying to an onion? Hush. 
What should I pass on to this doctor? Not bad. Not bad at all. Adulthood is like an onion. The more you try to separate it out into its basic parts, the worse it stings and makes you want to cry. Done. What can he make out of that? Cough syrup? Just pass it on to him. He'll know. Hmm. You're peculiar. Anything else? So th What do you want to know? Okay. Actually... I'll be off now. If I get an answer from the doctor, I'll let you know. Look after yourself. Oh well, so I missed that little interaction there about the uh, what they were doing tonight, but that's fine. Pamphlet. Women of the world unite across social classes. Fight for a better future for your sex. Fight for your right to study. Fight for your right to work. Fight for your suffrage. Fight for our equality. We deserve it all. Agree. Skawon's biography. Georgi Antonovich Skawon was born on October 24th, 1847 in Petersburg. From early childhood, the pearl of the Russian Empire opened his heart up to the beauty of Russian culture, and an upbringing in a respectable patriotic family provided him with the best possible chance of development. Thus, the son of Anton Antonovich and Yulia Yagerov Yagerovna has always been destined for greatness. An only child with exceptional intellectual abilities and a pure, kind heart, he gained the respect of the people around him from a very early childhood. He does not have a pure kind heart. He was a brutal oppressor. <laughs> Bujvidova rightly states that today's woman is not herself, does not feel like an individual in her own right or for her own sake. Uh, she is Adam's rib and she is a servant, the man's slave, his compliment, support, comfort, solace, ornament. Are we not all treated this way? Regardless of our achievements, we are still met with disregard. A woman may have the wisdom of an owl and the slyness of a fox, but still, she will be treated like a stupid sheep. But the times are changing. They are changing because, contrary to what men think, I am not a sheep, I am a lioness, and I am hungry. Yadviga K. No! I didn't want to leave! No! Okay. Woo! Charred letter. You are right. I cannot speak about feelings as openly as you can, but I also know there is a reason I keep my heart quiet. Wanda, our people rely on us. Dozens of people with pure minds who seek a free and independent Poland. People who risk their lives every day to make that dream come true. We owe it to them to show no weakness. However, if your life were at stake, I would move heaven and earth, and I would sacrifice anything, including my hopes for a free country, the lives of our friends, and my own soul to save you. This is my weakness that only you can know about, no one else. Please burn this letter. Bury me in your heart and forget about what we could have had. Give up, my love. This one time I am begging you, give up. Okie doke. Uh, Victor's funny. I, I think he's a funny protagonist. Telling telling the, the woman's rights person that patriarchy serves him is very funny. What a dog. <laughs> it's just such a goofy response. But he's so sarcastic about everything. <laughs> okay. Grab that. Let's look at our map. Just make sure there aren't more little places of interest. Let's touch all the points of interest. You've received the quest Praga Hospital. I already did this one. There's one thing down there, too. I need to buy more lights for my my room. Maybe I'll go to Ikea later. That could be fun. Sorry, Ikea. There we go. Okay, so we've gotten everything here. For dangerous friends, we just have to wait for the, the doctor's answer. So now we're going to go to uh, Hyatt. But before we do that, let's do these things. Okay.
Gotta go to Praga. Yeah, I need to go to Ikea and then we can um, get... We can buy like a new lamp or like a hanging light of some kind. I also want to buy some more fake plants for my room. Uh, just because they look really nice and they calm my nerves. So maybe I'll do that. Maybe I'll drive down to Ikea, listen to a podcast or something, go shopping, take a walk. Hey, you with the book. Tell them they can't keep us here against our will. Go back to the ward. I'm telling you for the last time. The examination's not over. Man, this is a prison state. Even quacks will lock you up. You better stay out of this. Take it from me. Is it all because patients won't get examined anymore? My friend felt under the weather, so we came. But look at him now. Sound as a bell. You came? They brought you on a cart half dead. Probably after some kind of subversion. This is slander. It's better if they stay longer for examination. You understand? <clears throat> I understand. They should stay here for their own good. You scum. You're siding with the quacks? What kind of patriot are you? Get here! With this simple trick, I can save some chloroform. <laughs> With this simple trick. What a meme line. I don't I don't know if this was the right thing to do, but why not? They look they seem like troublemakers, huh? Oh my god. Oh, I have five. So Marana is different than Lelek. I assumed that Marana would replace Lelek. Interesting. I didn't break his concentration, that was my bad. And that didn't slow him either. Alright, let's figure this out. Uh, we're gonna immediately pop these off. And then, uh, sure, I'll plant attack him. He gets all my statuses, and we hit him to kill him. This will interrupt an enemy's planned action always, huh? Interesting. That's really useful. Marana seems very good. Let's reload that and see what happens if we take the other option. Unless this was right after that fight. Oh, this is before the fight. Where is my previous save? Southern Shrodmicha. Oh my god, it was forever ago. Um, let's see where this actually is. I don't quite understand the cadence of the, the quests and how they work. Oh, we already did this. Oh, okay, so this is just before the conversation with what's-her-name. I guess I'll be able to get that thing really quickly if I just go redo that, so... Let's do that real quick. <laughs> yeah. We'll just do this, and... Because I want to get that other piece of conversation with her. I'll probably not pick the patriarchy option, though. Because I want to see if that leads to another quest as well, because that could be fun. And 
and we don't actually need to read anything, so it will go by really quickly. go order a beer there we go don't I've been here before you come to Got all this stuff. All right. I, what she's doing this evening. Tonight. Anadak says hello. Hello, Anadak. Sure, let's say we're going to join her with Top on the Patriarchy. With pleasure. Just us and the sounds of a crumbling tyranny would be the perfect day. Tyranny? It's hard for me to deny that, but seriously, I have plans. And that's all I'm willing to say on the topic. Is there anything else you wanted to ask? So, what are you up to this evening? Victor, let's be friends. That sentence pains me like a burn every time I... <laughs> okay. Don't be melodramatic. Okay, that is funny. Is there anything... All right, now we ask about the doctor. Um, I... Blah, blah, blah. We already got all this. Word four. Inspect my work. Good. Okay. Now we can leave and we can go do this. I'll and Adak asks, uh, how goes today? Today's an good. We've been streaming for a little while, having a good time. Uh, we just reconstructed our... Oh. Have you missed me? Reconstructed a little save file thing we just did so that we could check out the alternate path that we uh, locked ourselves out of just a minute ago. I should save before that fight, that's for sure. Okay, now that we're done here, I should have asked about the cat, I forgot to. I don't think it actually gave me anything, it was just a cute interaction. But, uh, all right, uh, really quickly, let's look at the map. There are points of interest that I need to grab. Just the two over here. And then we go straight to Praga Hospital. Ooh. Let's talk to the crook. Anyone can win today. Try your luck and play. Don't give up, ma'am. You'll get lucky this time. And you, sir? How can uh, I help you? Let's beat him up. What's the game? Good, sir. Let me explain. Three cups, one shell. To find it is to win. Simple enough, right? Except I've lost three times already. I'd love to play. Who knows, maybe I'll have more luck. You have to wait, I'm afraid. It's the lady's turn. Thank you, sad man. Fortune favors the brave. All right, let's do it. Come back later, sir. I'll play. And if you cheat, I'll know. Why don't you go, ma'am? This isn't your lucky day. <laughs> and now we'll have a talk with you, smart Alec. Okay. I'll teach you not to harass hardworking fiddlers. Get him! Alright, yeah, we'll just fight them. It saved, good. Let's do it. Where'd this third guy come from? What? <laughs> Where were you? <laughs> Okay, uh, whatever. Just attack. Uh, diversion on him. See if we can knock him out of turn order. Nope. Oh, enemy reinforcements, though. That's bad. They're just immediately suffering him. Okay. Uh, he needs Bukovac. He's gonna do that, and then we're going- Oh, diversion. Oh, okay. Uh, we'll just divert him again. Disable his trait. 
diversion. Good. It'll take some damage, but it's fine. We're not going to be hurt too bad by it. Okay. Sure. I'll do 10 damage. 20% chance to kill. Hmm. We'll see. I'll gamble on that. Why not? Because if it does kill, this is two enemies down in one turn. And if I can divert that, that'd be great. We did it. Hey, okay. All right, now we're talking. Arana time. Interrupt their planned action. That will disable their trait, and then I can plan to attack him. Yeah, they're dead. That was really cool. That was a cool looking attack. All right. Uh, who is this one weak to? Let's go over here. Issue an order to Marana, right? Lelic or Marana to disable. Interrupt the enemy's persuasion. Taro Ebenashi says, this is like British Persona. Incorrect, it is Polish Persona. This is Polish Eurojank Persona. <laughs> All right. Um, hmm. Inflicts damage equal to eight times the enemy's missing focus. Wow, that's really powerful. We'll do this. We'll slow him. Who do I need to do? I need to attack with Veles there. So we'll just try to, once again, distract. Did that work? I think that might have. And now we switch to Veles. Venomous strike to interrupt if we can. I love Veles' design so much. My my Pathfinder character that I, I was workshopping the other day, the Pothavaska, is like very heavily influenced by this character, by Veles. Sure, I'll kill him. Let's try to break his turn. Good, it worked. All right, this might be all I need. Nope. Uh, maybe this will work. All right, still didn't break his... <laughs> we tried like four times to break his turn. Oh, well. Um, We'll just kill him. It's fine. There we go. All right, so we managed to take out the crooks, which I admittedly didn't even see before. Cool. So now, Praga Hospital. And now we can do the hospital thing and protect the the people from the doctors, I guess. <laughs> Feels weird. Feels weird, man. Uh, all right. Are there any other point of interest? I think I already got that one. So it's just the one down here. Let's do this and grab the skills. A thaumaturgy point. All right. Now that I did that, save. Talk here. Hey, you with the book. 
Go back to the ward. Man, this is a prison stay. You... Is it all because... My friend felt under the... You came. They brought you on a cart, half... This is slander. It's better if... They... These gentlemen had a moment of weakness, but I can see they're better now. Let them leave. Did you hear the man? We'll go then. What kind of underground solidarity is that? We'll put you all in solitary. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, this is fine. This is a harder fight, so it should be more rewarding. That's my logic. Fell ass. Um, yeah, we'll just try to... Um, we'll just do that. And if that doesn't work, I'm gonna punch him to try to break his turn. Didn't work. That's fine. That inflicted suffering, somehow. What does he have? Oh, reduce impact on focus. That's Who cares about that? And then this is a, make an attack with Marana. Which I can't even do yet, so... I'll just diversion him to hope that it kills. <laughs> oh, hey, it killed. Never mind. My turn was broken. Ouch. Don't hit me with a trowel, you dick. What the hell? Okay. Dude, now that we have Marana unlocked... I feel like we have a massive amount of control over the battlefield. This is bananas. Like, holy crap, look how fast combat is going. More such companions in our ship. Thanks. Where did you get savage like that? Why are you so curious? Give him a break. We owe him that much. We were outnumbered by the Ruskies. That's all you need to know. Let's go before you tell him the story of your life. Hmm. All right. So we helped them. That's good. Now we need to find uh, about this theater situation. We should explore inside the hospital, but that'll take a little while. Oh. Postcard. Dear Lucia, after a long journey, I happily arrived at the hotel and have already managed to make myself comfortable. It's true what they say about its impressive exquisiteness and comforts. There is a sizable ballroom, a restaurant with elegant decor, and a lovely indoor garden. And best of all, you don't have to climb any stairs to get to your room. Perhaps you could join me here. I'm staying for two more weeks. Best regards, Els Elgbieta. Crystal Elevator. Thai Theater Cone starts at seven pa or half past seven. Okay. Traveler's letter. Dear Antony, I remain in good health, though the traveler life is slowly taking its toll. The humid air here and the sultriness are becoming too onerous for me, so I've started considering returning to the country. Still have some last minute matters to tie up here, including the one I wrote to you about in my previous letter. I finally achieved my goal, and Warsaw will soon see the dreaded demonic masks. We even managed to set a date, September 15th. I hope that we will see this extraordinary spectacle together with sincerest regards, Constantine. Nothing can be kept secret from me. A message written on ornate stationery with a drawing of an elephant. The traveler Constantine boasts that, that thanks to him, on September 15th, Warsaw will have an opportunity to see an extraordinary show from a distant country. On September 15th at 7.30 p.m. at Teatro Romant Rosmaitostzi, a Thai, uh, a thai, wow, thai troupe will hold a performance with demonic masks. Neat. It's going to take us to a uh, 
Well, actually, it might be afternoon in game time right now, so let's see. Even though it's 7.30 p.m., doesn't seem much like afternoon to me, but who knows. Brochure on the benefits of bathhouses. We must be convinced that the widespread use of bathhouses will contribute a great deal to the eradication of wastefulness among the population. Get rid of many diseases and vulnerabilities to succumb to them. Reduce our medical expenses and contribute to the rise of people who are healthy, firm, vigorous, and productive. As our living conditions are growing ever more difficult, we need to strive toward increasing our strength. Meanwhile, we see that people are growing weaker. To heal the nation, to bolster its vitality and bravery, this is our first task. A healthy spirit can only be nurtured in a healthy body, and frequent use of bathhouses is the most important condition for health. Bathhouses uh, were like one of my favorite aspects of living in Japan. Let's wait until... So... It's, it's interesting because it's like, you're just going there to like take a bath, but it's like really warm and comfortable and they have coffee milk, which is really nice. It's just a good experience. You never need to buy your own shampoo. It's all there. It's great. It was exceptional, but I don't think I will go again. The golden masks look too much like real demons lurking on the outskirts of my field of view. Very cool. Okay. Uh, let's see. Go to the bathhouse. Absolutely. Port Praga. Let's investigate there. Ooh, maybe another fight happening? What is it? There! It's Shulski! Our mighty good chum! Victor! Good to see you! Wrong voice for that person. These two shivs claim you know each other. Is that true? It depends on what they did. Well, just a stroke of rotten luck. I asked you a simple question. Yes or no? Yes, I know these noble gentlemen. Well then, I guess we'll take in three instead of two. Go on! We won't. Yay, we have a buddy fight. These are fun. Uh, yeah, we'll do Uber. Ooh, I did the wrong one. Oh well. That's fine. I might need it. Uh, let's see. Healed me for nothing, but that's fine. Just the wrong attack to use there. Now, oh. Oh, actually, I can use Lelek to transfer now, so that's fine. Right? And now I just do uh, reduces focus. Yep, transfer that over there, and I'm gonna punch the dude in the face, I guess. Okay. kill him uh who do i need no oh, he's a bukovac okay uh we'll just do that and then i'll punch him oh the person who was suffering died though so i didn't do as much damage as i thought i was gonna do that sucks Let's just see if we can kill the enemy. There we go. Thanks, magician. Good thing we kidnapped you back then. You're not the schmuck you pretend to be. You're welcome. Sure. That was worth it, I guess. Got some experience, so that's all that really matters. Go to Port Praga. It's been a while since we went back here. Ugh. Ugh. Yawn. Been up for so long, it's already been kind of a long day. 
Guest performances, Alexander Kirshner, the dive bar, entry to the left of the barbers. Okay, illegal humor. Oh, it's a comedian. That's dangerous. Ooh. Fly Magazine, Pulse of the City. Where are you off to? To a beverage tasting. But hasn't your wife recently ordered you to abstain? Indeed she did, but only from liquor. Meanwhile, Henrik Reiner is holding a tasting of a new drink imported from America. He hopes that volunteers will find it so tasty that he'll soon be able to open a thriving business. What about that small bottle in your pocket? It's just a Polish condiment for foreign liquids. What if the drink is impalatable? Ha 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 ha. Oh, this is a barber? That's quite a shambles on your mug there. Who botched it up like that? Place yourself in my hands and we'll make it prime in no time. Let's do it. Is there different haircuts? Soon the fancy boy will be set for philandering. Stay still once I start working my shank. If you trash like a fish, you'll mark my floor up. I see. We don't want to reenact the Fleet Street scenario here. Sweeney Todd. There is. There's different haircuts. Depending on which one you go to. Okay, so these are so there are unique haircuts. Depending on, he looks so alarming like this. So there are different haircuts depending on which guy you go to. I like this one. We'll do this one. The way I say it, it's pretty swell, isn't it? It does look swell. So, tell anyone you want that you are not getting a bot job here. Okay, interesting. Whoa. Jar of shells. Small gel filled with shells from the seaside. At one's gaze rests the shells. Thoughts drift toward the clear ocean water sparkling with different shades of turquoise. At least that's what one's imagination shows. Because one's feet have never stepped outside of Warsaw. Alright, so that's something new to learn is that there's a there's apparently different haircuts at different barbers. I might end up giving uh, giving him a fuller beard. All right, so there's multiple places to go for clues in this one. Ooh. Once the official performance is over, go to the back room. You'll find steps there leading to the host's apartment. At the door, give the password to hell with him. AK will give you a show night like no other. The comedian's unusual performance. Fireworks. Hands carrying the heavy crate are shaking a little. And not just from the effort. Excitement makes them stronger. Just a little patience. One more night until these beauties can be seen in, this, in action in the sky. It will be quite a spectacle. Note for the servant girl. Anyella, don't disturb Lisa tomorrow before noon as she will be resting after the ball for breakfast. Nothing but RIO and a bun with marmalade. Hmm. I'm going to find the next clue and then go fight the people that were over there, so... Ochrana informant's report. Alexander Kirshner, I've been told that he holds secret soirees that make fun of the Tsar. I lost sight of him yesterday near Port Praga. I have to go back there today. I'd also like to take this opportunity to remind you about the promised reward Secrets. new leather shoes. Not on my watch. A sloppily written note, probably a draft of what would later become a full report. There's someone hanging around Port Praga that the Ochrana is keeping an eye on. Illegal humor. Alexander Kirshner is a comedian who likes to make fun of the Tsar. His shows are held in the evenings at the bar The Dive. Once the official show is over, the comedian holds a secret performance. Just go to the back room and give the password to hell with him at the entrance. All right, so there is still stuff around here, isn't there? No, that was it. Okay. Well, there's stuff over here, though. Indian spices. Turmeric, cinnamon, ginger. Oh, what an amazing aroma. Breathe in. Ah, to go back to the colorful streets of Bombay with the breathtaking variety of sari patterns. Breathe out. Here, it's just gray. Nothing but shades of gray. Breathe in. I will go back there before I die. There will be beauty in my life again. Hey, you. Are you stealing our girls? 
It's more like I'm saving them from the torture of your company. See how eloquent he is? And brave. Not bad. We'll turn your face around, fancy boy. You won't be such a smooth talker then. If you insist. A fight? How exciting! Hmm. I feel like I should probably improve my thaumaturgy sometime, but... Alright. Again, we're not really under any threat right now, though, which is kind of the problem. I'm just gonna punch you in the face. Bonk. Eh. Just keep bonking. Nope. I can literally kill him before he takes a turn. <laughs> there we go. He's dead. Third guy's dead right now. Oh, no, he's not dead. I thought he was. He might be dead on it. Yep, he's dead on his turn. Okay. It's much better to just do this. This is going to knock him down for focus. And then I can kill him in one hit with Marana. Forty damage, instant kill. Yep. That's insane. The game is like truly opened up for us in like a way that it was not before in combat. Marana is is extremely powerful. Was there a thing? No. Okay. Ooh, what's around here? Dear Liza, thank you. I'm in good health. This is mainly due to the new treatment that you recommended to me. Did you know that this week, the owner of the store will hold tastings of your favorite beverage every morning? The aroma is indeed one of a kind, and most importantly, it has made my headaches less frequent. Come and see me in the afternoon, and I will show you the new lace ordered from Paris. Kisses, Marcelina. Some people do grassroots work and others organize coups. Kirshner wields a different kind of weapon and one that is no less sharp. Is he a caricaturist? That's interesting. And a comedian? Intriguing. We gotta find more leads in the fireworks as well. Bottle, a broken bottle of cheap porter. A blaze of color is still flickering on the glass. The sight is so amazing, it makes the bottle slip out of his hand and smash into pieces. The show is worth the lost drink, however. He's glad he came here and talked to the warehouse people and that he took Halinka with him. Oh. Fireworks advertisement, Golden Tiger. A first-rate spectacle, fiery cascades will bloom in fury bouquets, bouquets, bouquets in the most vivid colors. Only the Golden Tiger fireworks will delight any audience and make the night recede with brilliance. Ask at J. Baum's store. Secrets. Not on my watch. There have been fireworks displays near the warehouses lately. If you ask about Golden Tiger there, you can see an exceptionally beautiful show in the night sky. Just gotta find the warehouse. And pick up some more experience from that. I'm holding on to my experience points so that we can get other salutors leveled up if we can get Jin really quickly after this. I might need to reset the game in order to do that um, because obviously the, the quest appears to either be non-progressible currently or bugged out and not giving me the right progression that I need for it. Okay. That's not what I expected. Another Salutor? Speak of the devil. The smell of evil suggestions and pure malice with a subtle hint of sulfur. I think I know who you are, Scamp. 
I bet a braggart just like you got your attention. Whoa. I'll look for them before you lead them astray. That thing looks hella cool. Krampus? A horned mischief maker from Alpine folklore. Feeding on evil deeds. Supposedly he used to meet up punishment to naughty children. These days he torments people of all ages. Oh man, we're gonna hunt the Krampus? Hell yeah, he's hot. I'm here for this. Article, there was a robbery in an arms shipment at Port Praga. The words they read circle over their heads and sink deep inside the fabric of thoughts. The glow of luck is so bright they squint their eyes in disbelief. There was no way it could happen and yet it did. Small of cheap moonshine wafting above it. There are traces of lips, fingers, and a terrible decision imprinted on the jar. The alcohol numbed their conscience, but the persistent thought added bitterness to every sip. The witness, the only one who saw their faces, they would have to get rid of the problem. Not gonna knock on that yet. Mended hat. Battered with stitched up holes, typical working class headwear. The needle pierced wool with force, and each stitch sewed bitter words addressed to a husband into the fabric. One stab, he changed for the worse. Two, yank. It's because of those warehouse scum. Three, not. He needs to find better company or he'll be sleeping on the floor. Kicked packages. Someone kicked a pile of packages with great force. A foot driven by shame kicked the packages, toppling the neat pile. The angry impulse still vibrates in the air. How do you defend yourself from derision when your head is empty? You can't take a swipe. Another humiliation finds a vent in a liberating move. Crate with Sars insignia. Could it be part of the stolen arms shipment? The splinter stuck in flesh while moving the crate burned, but the flames of satisfaction were more intense. It was so easy. It only took a few words to persuade the rest to leap at the opportunity. Gullible, useful sheep who would follow their shepherd even to hell. Torn wanted notice. The police are looking for the culprits of the convoy robbery. Weary hands tore off the poster impetuously and ripped it apart. The police are on their trail and the notices are all over the port. Why were they tempted to try something like that? Now they're bound for the gallows at best or barracks in Siberia at worst. It seems that frequenters of this warehouse came into possession of stolen arms. Something that appeared to be a stroke of luck, a stroke of luck now turns out to be a serious problem. Anybody there? I won't hurt you. Let's say two taps mean yes and one tap means no. Do you understand? How long have you been here? A day? Two? A week? More? Are you a harbor worker or a sailor? Have you seen the perpetrators' faces? Do you know who they are? Does it have anything to do with a certain well-known Warsaw thug, Abauritze? Okay. Do you think this has something to do with the socialists? Was it someone local? <laughs> do you know anything about the stolen arms shipment? Do you happen to be one of the gendarmes who escorted the convoy? You're lucky I've sent it a wild salutor here. I'll find a way to get you out. Mm. Am I a magician or what? Missing gendarme has been captured. All right, so we still have a few things we got to find here. Lamp. A decorative lamp that doesn't fit the warehouse interior. There's begging for mercy in the shadow of the lamp and insults sprawling across the top of the lampshade. You shouldn't have messed with him. He gathered the lads from the building and got back at the Jew. He took the lamp as a trophy. All he had to do was open his mouth and he could manipulate people like puppets. So that's the ringleader. Alright, so there's some racial tension happening. Which is bad, obviously. And we know that the, the local Jewish population is being hounded by people. Do we really have to? 
you know. Hey! I was promised a fireworks display. How long do I have to wait for the Golden Tiger? But it was just a cover. There is no... <laughs> Shut your pile, Emil. I'll tell you something. Maybe we can recruit him. Maybe he'll join us? Yeah, or maybe we can bribe him. Emil, how many times do I have to tell you that you're not the boss yet? Stop calling me Edic. This isn't what you promised, Edic. No complications. And we'll live like kings, you said. I know what I said. This conversation seems weird. There's no denying that you're to blame more than anyone. It was you who started it. Neither you nor Yemio is the mastermind here. No offense. All you need to do is report it to the police, and you can go home back to your wife. Actually, you're right. Can't you see what he's trying to do? He wants to drive a wedge between us. No, this isn't over. You saw what happened there. The coppers came with armored wagons. We can't run. We won't run. We'll take them by surprise. We'll give weapons to people, and we'll have some real fireworks for the police. First, we chase the Ruskies away from our neighborhood, then the town, and then... Who knows? Yemyo, you've got a gun, so watch this one. Let's go. Why me? I want to go too. <laughs> what a weird voice for that You've got to be a little savvy for this. Stay put, I said. Fine, I'll tell you something. But no tricks, all right? Edic's flaw. Wherever he feels cornered, Edic tries to get away by manipulating people. To do that, he takes advantage of their emotions and makes unrealistic promises, kind of like a thaumaturge. Krampus and the Rogue. Edic is a demagogue who uses his abilities for his own benefit and to get out of any predicament. In order to make his flaw shine fully, we need him to get him into more trouble. How did you pull off that heist of the century? What? The robbery? Huh, we just sat around and talked. And the opportunity practically fell into our laps. Are you telling me you stole an arms shipment by chance? Actually, it was meant as a joke. Edic just wanted to scare the guards. And <laughs> being a little tipsy... What, are you grilling me now? This is awkward. Could I step outside and take a leak? My bladder's about to burst. Sure, buddy. No, wait. You're not going anywhere. <laughs> Edek forbade it. Edek doesn't like you, does he? He certainly doesn't respect you. And the other way around. All he can do is put you down. And if I say anything, he always turns it on its head. So he comes out on top. Does he often promise you things? All the time. And the others are eager to follow. It's like he infects them with his ideas. And now he told me to sit here with you. Vengeance. Yermio is really angry at Edek. He, he wants to find a way to get back at him, and I think I can give him an idea. Avenger. Yermio is not the sharpest tool in the shed, and Edek often makes fun of him to get on the good side of the other friends. The mockery pains Yemiel and makes him want to get back at Edek. I gave him an idea how to do that by releasing me. Don't you want to get back at him for everything? He'd stop to respect you. Yeah, honestly, sometimes I feel like pasting him. Maybe there's a better way. Like what? Master of Jintoira. I told Yemiel the revenge would be sweeter if he released the gendarme too. Inconvenient witness. Edek and his people are holding the missing gendarme. They plan to get rid of him as the only witness who might expose them. If I don't do anything, they will kill him. He told you to stay put here like a dog and watch me. What do you think would upset him the most now? Let's think. 
if I didn't pay no mind to his command and let you go. He'd be mad, all right. Furious, even. It's what we want, isn't it? Ah. What would happen if the gendarme from the closet disappeared, too? I'll tell you something. I think Attic would burst into tears. <laughs> then let's do it your way, Yemyo. Finessed him completely. Thank you, and good job. I owe you, Thaumaturge. Lihotsky. Forget it. Shulsky. I like the way you outmaneuvered them. I'm surprised the army doesn't have more of you. I heard what those guys were planning. I must act. What do you intend to do? You heard what they said about the armored police wagons. The forces must have cut off ways out of the harbor. I know how many arms there were in the shipment. If Edek gives that away out there, there'll be a bloodbath. I need to call for reinforcements. You're right. That way we might avoid bloodshed. And you? Get out of here if you know what's good for you. Thank you, but I'm afraid I can't. In the midst of all this, there's a demon that I'm chasing. I'm certain it impacts our demagogue, Edek. I can't leave you all alone. Hang in here until I come back. His voice seems familiar. Alright. Hmm. Where to go from here? I guess we're just gonna try to find Edek so that we can get Krampus.